But this reason we give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for our pastor, Pastor Corey, and we welcome our first lady. Ah, hallelujah. Back into the sanctuary, Lady Sherry. We're so excited about it. Hallelujah. And the children. Amen. We thank God for all that he's doing. Well, as we, if we read for scripture today, hallelujah. Psalms 150. And it says, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel. Hallelujah. We're going to dance today. Hallelujah. Praise him with the string instrument. Praise him on the organ. Praise him upon the loud sounding cymbal. Praise him with high sounding cymbal. And say, let everything, let everything, let everything. Hallelujah. That means you. Let everything. It says, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified. Hallelujah, by the blood of Jesus. My members, the parts of my body, are instruments of righteousness, yielded to God for his service and for his glory. The devil has no place in me, no power over me, and no unsettled claims against me. Hallelujah. All has been settled. Hallelujah. By the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood. 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 Hallelujah. I overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I love not my life until the death. My body is for the Lord. And the Lord is for my body. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb of God. And worthy is his name. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands all over the sanctuary. And white cloud, I need you to look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, come on, shout on through your mask. Come on, say, neighbor, we serve a great God. Come on, look at, that was the wrong person. They didn't get excited. Come on, look at somebody else and tell them, neighbor, we serve a great God. And if they didn't get excited, look at somebody else. Go to somebody else and tell them, neighbor, we serve a great God. If they didn't get excited, go, go to somebody across the sanctuary. Come on. You ought to get out your seat and go to somebody and tell them, neighbor, come on, tell them, come on, tell them we serve a great God. And there's nobody, nobody like him. Nothing compares to his goodness. Nothing compares to his love. If you know we serve a great God. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Anybody came to give him praise? I said anybody came to give him praise. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. I'm living in the sanctuary. Go 
Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Come on, everybody, clap your hands right here. Come on, clap your hands. Come on. Anybody love Jesus, make some noise in the building. The song says, How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all we see, how great, yeah. How great, come on, is our God. Clap your hands, come on. If you know we serve a great God, open up your mouth and give him a shout of praise. Come on, everybody, sing it out. How great, say. Our God. We'll see. Oh, we'll see how great, how great it's all good. Come on, clap. Yeah. Hey. If you know we serve a great God, clap your hands all over the building. Everybody lift it up and say, How oh, great, say. How great, how great, how great One more time, say how great, say how great Is our God, say our God Sing with me, sing with me How great is our God All the seasons, all the seasons How great, how great Is our God, everybody come on Everybody sing it out, come on. We say, I lift my hands. I lift my hands to give you glory. To give you glory. I lift my hands. I lift my hands. Cause I wanna give you praise. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. Now will you praise him? Say Okay. 
to tell him neighbor if you only knew the hell I've been through you will understand why I give God my best if you only knew what I was going through just this week you will understand why I give God everything I have if you only knew what I went through last night It'll be a surprise that I got here today. But because I'm here, I'll give him praise. But because I'm here, I'll give him glory. Because I'm here, I'll lift him higher. Because I'm here, I'll give you the glory. Hey, it's because I'm here, hey, I'll give you the glory. Hey, just because I'm here, give you the glory hey just because I'm here I'll give you the glory sing with me say just because I'm here I'll give you glory I'll give you the glory just because I'm here just because I'm here I'll give you I'll give you the glory say just because I'm here just because I'm here I'll give I'll give you the glory come on just because I'm here, so just because I'm here, give, you I'll give you the glory. See, just because I'm here, just because I'm here, I'll give you, I'll give you the glory. See, just because I'm here, just because I'm I'll, here. Give the glory. I'll give you the glory. Give you the glory. Just because I'm here, just because I'm here, just because I'm here, I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the praise just because. Just because I'm here. Just because I'm here. 
on your mind that thing that is done for you and give a praise get that thing on your mind that is done for you and give a praise one more time just because I'm here just because I'm here I'll give I'll give you the glory see just because I'm here just because ooh, I'm here I'll give you the glory see just because I'm here just because I'm here See, just because I'm here, just because I'm here, I'll give, I'll give you the glory. 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 See, I'll give you the glory. 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 Everybody sing it out. See, I'll give you the glory. You sing it, I'll sing. Everybody sing. See, I'll give you the glory. Come on, lift it up loud. Say, it's better when we do it together. Hey, said it's better when we do it together. I said it's better when we do it together. Break the music. I'll give you the glory. Say, I said it's better when we do it together. Said it's better when we do it together. Said it's better when we do it together. Everybody sing it out. I'll give you a. I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the honor. I'll give you the honor. I'll give you the honor. I'll give you the worship. I'll give you my worship. I'll give you my worship. I'll give you my worship. I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the glory. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Somebody give him a glory right here. Open up your mouth and praise him. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Lift your hands and say forever and ever and ever. Come on, open up your mouth and praise him. We didn't came, we didn't come in the room. We didn't come in the room just to look at each and every one. We didn't come to look at the different shades of pink. But we came to give him glory. We came to, we came to give him honor. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us six Better when we do it together. Somebody lift up a shout. We worship. We worship the miracle worker. We worship the healer. <laughs> we worship the way maker. We worship the promise keeper. 
We worship him. Come on, somebody lift your hands all over this building. Come on, somebody just lift your hands. Open up your mouths. Come on. Come on, don't stop. Just open up your mouths and let's worship. Come on, somebody just open up your mouth. And let's worship our God. Come on, he's a miracle worker. Come on, somebody just open up your mouth and let's give him glory. You're the God of miracles, signs and wonders. We believe in your power. We believe in your power. Say, you're the God of miracles, signs and wonders. We believe in your power. Come on, everybody, lift your hands and sing it out. See, you're the, you're the God of Signs and wonders, and wonders. We, we believe in your power. We believe in your power. We know who you are. You are the God of miracles. Signs and wonders. Come on, let's go. Hey. We believe in your power. We believe in your power. Come on, lift your hands and say, supernatural, wonderful, you got the. You're a miracle worker. I need every believer in the house lift your hands and sing it out. You're a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. He can do anything but fail. Come on, lift it up. You're a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. You're able to heal. Yeah. Say, you're a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. I need every believer in the house to lift it up. Sing it out. Hey. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Say, you're the God. Signs and, signs and wonders, oh, we believe in your power, we believe in your power. Come on, three parts. You're the God of miracles, signs and wonders, come on, the brother. We believe in your power, we believe in Come on, lift your hands all over the building and say, supernatural, what do work in you? Declare it, you're a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. You're able to heal, say it. Come on, lift it up. You're a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. You can do anything for the film, say. You're a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. Come on, lift your hands all over the building and sing it out, say. Say, we believe, say, we believe in power. We believe. Lift it up, say. Come on, lift your hands and say. We believe. We believe. Come on, lift your hands right here. You are a miracle worker. You are a miracle worker. You are a miracle worker. Since you part of us, see. Him, hey. You're the God of miracles, signs, 
and wonder say what you're the god of miracle signs and wonders you're the god of miracles 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 of miracles miracles you do you do you do miracles 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 you're the god of miracles miracles we believe miracles 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 say healing healing you will hey perform healing to the sick healing healing say healing i decree and i declare healing break out in this room say healing healing say breakthrough 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 you will hey breakthrough i feel it right now breakthrough somebody needs it somebody wants it declare it over yourself declare it and your family breakthrough 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 glory glory Say you're the God of miracles, signs and wonders. We believe in your power. We believe. We believe One more time, lift your hands and sing. You're the God of miracles, signs and wonders. God knows we believe. Yes, Lord. We believe. You're the God, God of miracles, Ooh. signs and wonders, we believe in your power to believe. Break the music, everybody lift it up, sing it. You're the God of miracles, signs and wonders, we believe in your power, we believe One more time, everybody sing it. You're the God of Signs and, signs and wonders we, we believe, believe in your power come on we, we believe, believe in your power come on if you believe in his power open up your mouth and give him glory right here come on just declare we believe in your power come on just say we believe in your power we believe we believe we believe in your power Wonder working power. We believe in your power. I said we believe in your power. Hey, 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 hey. We believe. Come on, tell somebody, say we believe in his power. Come on, tell them we believe in his power because he is the God of miracles signs and wonders come on would you just lift your hands for a moment come on lift your hands in the sanctuary 
Come on, lift your hands in the sanctuary. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, we believe in his power to do the supernatural. I said we believe in his power to do the supernatural. God specializes in things thought impossible and he will do what no other power can do. I know they had a bunch of red flags about it this week, but I just need you to lift your hands and say, there's a miracle in the room with my name on it. It ain't a red flag if you believe it. I said, lift your hands and say, there's a miracle. Oh, I said, lift your hands and say, there's a miracle in this room with hey, ba, ba, ba. So, I said, there's a miracle. Hey, there's a miracle in this room. And it's got my name on it. Would you clap your hands and give God praise for his presence that's here while you're clapping. We thank God for our overseer. Come on, we really thank God for our overseer. Come on, stand to your feet and thank God as today is her 68th birthday. So we celebrate her this afternoon. We celebrate her. I said we celebrate her. Yana Manso, I said we celebrate her. Take it. I said we celebrate her. Because it could have went another way. Mandeosha. But we thank God that she's here to celebrate 68 years. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Kaya. We celebrate God. We celebrate God. We also would be remiss in the fact that we did not celebrate the return of our first lady, Lady Sherry, come on. In all her beauty, in all her splendor, amen. And the, the first service for baby Coco, amen. She's here with her headphones on, so. So we don't scare her too much, amen. But just tell somebody there's a word from the Lord. Antia, hallelujah. Come on, tell somebody, say, there's a word from the Lord. Oh, God. Ah, my God. Hey, 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 hey. I, I feel a preach in this atmosphere. I said, I feel a preach in this atmosphere. Somebody look at somebody else and just tell them, say, there's a word from the Lord. Nashaya. Come on, while you're standing, grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. Those of you watching online, do me a favor, share the broadcast. Somebody needs to hear this word. Go with me to the book of Psalms, the 62nd chapter. Familiar passage of scripture, one that I've preached for many times. Psalm 62. We thank God for all of the ministry gifts in this house. Pastor Stacy, Pastor Kentrell, to all of our ecclesia that are here, those that are watching online. We thank God for you, 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 and for you. Psalm 62. When you have it, shout, I have the word. You don't have it, look at the screens that we're prophetically speaking into existence. Psalm 62 and 1, it begins reading, Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you attack a man? You shall be slain, all of you. 
like a leaning wall and a tottering fence. The only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth. But they curse inwardly. My soul waits silently for God alone. For my expectation is from him. He is my only rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Concluding verse says, trust in him at all times you people and pour out your heart before him because God is my refuge I want to preach to you for the next few moments in time here on Survivors Sunday been there done that just look over at somebody as you take your seats in the presence of the Lord just tell them say been there and done that been there and done that. Do me a favor. Just do it. That's good. And the same on this side. Been there. Somebody say done that. Been there and done that. The storms of life come for us all. Somebody say I know that's right. My grandmother used to have a saying when she was living, if you haven't gone through it yet, keep on living. Because sure as you are alive, you're going to experience a storm. And when you're getting ready, it's one thing, Lady Sherry, to go through a storm that you know is on its way. But it's another thing to deal with a storm that you're unexpected. An unexpected storm. We live in the Northeast, so we come uh, to expect nor'easters. We come to expect, amen, amen, serious snowstorms in this area. But every now and then, a hurricane likes to act like it want to come up this way. And no matter how much the forecasters think they have an idea as to what it is that we're going to expect, they really don't know. Regardless of how much meteorological equipment they may have, they really don't know. And their job is to get you prepared for what might be. A few years ago, now I don't even have to go a few years ago, just this year, we were in the stores buying every flashlight, buying every candle, buying every D battery that we could find because we were expecting the worst. We were, we were preparing for a storm, amen, of biblical proportion. They said be prepared for high water. They said be prepared for high winds. They said for us to be prepared for power outages. And in the, the concern of the sheep, amen, even though we were on our way to the hospital to prepare for Corey Rose's entrance, we had to make the executive decision the day before the storm was even hit us to cancel service because of what we had expected. In a sense of expectation, we still were in a place of unexpectation we did not know what was going to happen we didn't know how it was going to happen all we knew was that we had to be prepared and every now and then God will allow you a glimpse into your future to know how to anticipate life storms mm, ask your neighbor say neighbor do you have an idea as to how to anticipate your life's storms. Many times we are prepared for what's coming to us, 
But then there's other times where things just come out of left field. And we utter the words, Pastor Stacy, I wasn't even expecting this. You know, when you have, have those things that happen to you that you're expecting, but a lot of times you're not expecting to experience or to go through those things from, from family members. You're not expecting to be put down by those well-meaning friends. You're not expecting to be let go from the job. You're not expecting, amen, I know if you ain't been paying your car note, you should expect it, but oftentimes we don't expect to have our car towed. I'll say it this way. Sometimes you park in the wrong zone. I won't say you ain't paid your bill. Sometimes you park in the wrong zone. And if you're in New Haven, New Haven is so happy. Amen. And they'll tell you for whatever reason. Then you find out you got to pay X, Y, and Z just to get your car back. It's unexpected storms, y'all. It's unexpected storms. And so David, in the writing of this psalm, the 62nd division of psalm, he is going through an unexpected storm. Uh, he finds himself going through situations that he thought he should not have to go through. He finds himself being ridiculed by those who were around him. He realizes when writing this psalm that it's not necessarily for him, but it is for amen, another certain group of people to help build their faith. Put your hand on yourself and say, Lord, build my faith. Lord, build my faith. And so we understand that in the background text or the uh, textual background of this particular division of Psalm, amen, it comes to us out of, amen, 2 Samuel, the 15th chapter. It is here, the Bible says that, and David went up by the ascent of Mount Olivet and wept as he went up and he had his head covered and he went barefoot and all the people that was with him covered every man his head and they went up weeping and crying as they went up. David at this very disturbing and discouraging time in his life is realizing that he's going through an unexpected storm. What are you saying, pastor? It's his son. His son Absalom who is seeking to forcefully ascend to the throne. And at this point you think that David would be bitter and, and, and questioning God. However, it is quite the contrary. David uses this occasion to praise and to worship God in spite of what it was that he was going through. He gives us, amen, the prescription for an enduring storm in our life. You may ask the question, how am I going to make it through? How am I going to get to the other side of this? How am I going to survive, amen, this storm in my life? Well, David, my brothers and my sisters, gives us three things that I want to touch on very briefly, some of y'all may remember, amen, if you don't remember, just, amen, say, God, erase it so I can take it new, amen. He, he gives us three things, Evangelist Crenshaw, he gives us three things that I want to leave with you in the next few moments of time. He says, number one, number one is you've got to wait patiently on God. Somebody say, Lord, help me to wait patiently. Come on, say it one more time so it gets in your spirit. Lord, help me to wait patiently. Lord, help me to wait patiently. Lord, help me to wait patiently. Waiting patiently when your enemies attack. He asks the question in verse 3, how long will you examine mischief against me? Amen. You shall be slain, all of you, he says, as a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. In verse 4, he says, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies, and they bless with their mouth, but curse 
inwardly. David is saying here that there are many that are coming against him and are trying to kill him. They saw, amen, uh, him as, amen, a broken down wall. Considering where it was, he was in this point in time in his life. They saw him as somebody, amen, that they could take advantage of and take over, amen, the kingdom, amen, while he was in his downtrodden place. So they began to spread rumors and they began to tell lies about him and all the while telling lies about him, amen, when he wasn't looking. Anytime he turned around, the Bible says that they were praising him to his face, yet speaking evil, amen, behind his back. Uh, is anybody in this house know how that goes? Uh, know how it goes soon as you get around folks, uh, amen, they ain't got nothing but good to say about you. Say how wonderful you look. Say how God has kept you and preserved you beautifully. Amen. But then you find out because a friend got a friend that got a friend that got a friend. And eventually it comes back full circle that you heard what they said about you and it was contrary to what it was that they told you to their face. David is dealing with the same thing. My brothers and my sisters, there were some in the scripture that were loyal to him but only loyal to the throne but weren't loyal to him as a person, weren't loyal to him as a deity, weren't loyal to him, amen, who, who had to walk in his anointing. I told you last Sunday that some are only interested in the anointing but not interested in the assignment that's connected to the anointing. And oftentimes we want to hear, amen, the personality but we don't really want to hear the pressure that had to come to birth that anointing. Oh, that's why you got some folk that say if pastor ain't preaching I don't want to hear it because we're connected to personality and not to the process that births the anointing somebody say Lord deliver me from personality Lord deliver me from personality that's why some of y'all don't have a real prayer life because you're waiting on somebody to tap in for you that's why some of you can't go in before the throne because you have uh, uh, you haven't had yourself in the posture of worship all week long that's why it takes so long on a Sunday or Wednesday night to pull you in to a place of worship because it's a place you've never been uh, some of y'all need to get like Star Trek and just say I'm going to a place that I've never been I'm going to a level that I've never been I'm going to heights unknown I'm going to depths unknown I make up in my mind that I'm not staying here any longer but I'm going beyond the veil somebody say Lord take me Lord take me and so he tells us he tells us that we've got to wait patiently somebody say it one more time so it gets engulfed in your spirit Lord help me to wait uh, Lord help me to wait and he's waiting uh, amen in the midst of the liars he's waiting uh, in the midst of the backstabbers he's waiting uh, in the midst of those that are talking evil against him he's saying uh, that I've got to wait no matter how long it takes uh, and I know without a shadow of a doubt that there's somebody in here uh, that feels like they've been waiting on God a long time uh, you feel like you've been watching others graduate up while you've been going through the same class all over and over again. You feel like uh, you've been left behind while others are being pushed up uh, in front of you. You're seeing others get elevated while yet in steel. Uh, you seem like you're still in that same level. Uh -huh. You're seeing your friends go forth. You're seeing amen, other ministries go forth. I was in that place, y'all, when I had to keep asking God, God, when are you going to do it for ECC? Uh, you've given us prophecy after prophecy after the prophecy and I had to put God on, on the forefront I said Lord I don't want another prophecy until I see you fulfill the last 10 things your, your prophets oh I know I'm not the only one that came to church and said Lord I don't need another prophecy but what I need is a manifestation I don't need another word but I need a manifestation I don't need another another gimmick but I need a manifestation I need to see God work out what he's already said in my life but yet it's still in the midst of us crying in the midst of our circumstance God is still saying I require you to wait somebody say wait 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 
He said, I'm requiring you to wait. And so he's in a place of fighting. He's in he's in a place where, amen, he's always been there to help everyone else and fight battles that he had no business fighting. And now David feels like he's fighting a battle alone. He feels like he's in a place of isolation. You know, we just went through this. He's in a place of isolation. And regardless to how many people are around him, he feels like he's in a crowded room by himself. Anybody ever felt like you were in a crowded room, but in all actuality, you were by yourself because of, of the situations and the circumstances of, and how you feel like you got bills all the way up, amen, past your forehead and you feel like uh, you're dealing with sicknesses that you can't tell nobody about. You're dealing with infirmity that you can't tell nobody about. You're dealing with family issues that you feel like you can't tell nobody about and so you were there helping everybody else fight their battles but here you are feeling like you're fighting amen a never winning battle and so and so David he gives us a remedy y'all he says he says here in verse 46 and 10 of chapter 46 and 10 he says for us to be still and know he says be still and know that I am God uh-huh and I will be exalted amongst the heathen and I will be exalted in the earth and it's just like uh, while you're in the middle of whatever it is you're going going through. Uh, folks ain't got to say nothing, but sometimes it's their actions uh, that'll kick you while you're down. Uh, it's sometimes how they move uh, with their cocky, conceited, arrogant self uh, that will kick you while you're down. We saw you were on vacation. Now don't take another picture until you get back. Uh, why you vacationing and you're still on Facebook? Why you vacationing and you're still on Instagram? Why you got to rub it in? Because I ain't been on vacation in five years. Uh, so every time I see you posting about yourself uh, I'm going to feel as though that's a personal attack against me. Just go on and enjoy your vacation. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say rather but a lot of times we feel as though it's what they do uh, that's kicking us while we're down. David y'all, David, he went through the same thing. However, David went through literal kicking. Uh, David went through literal having rocks thrown at him. Uh, it wasn't just words y'all. It wasn't just deeds uh, but he had somebody that was literally kicking him while he was down. Can you imagine David's, amen, condition? Can you imagine David's feeling or his mental capacity at this time? There's a son that he raised in his own house that is now trying to say that he is too old and has too many mental faculties escaping him to where he is unable and unfit to manage and to be the king and the ruler of these people. And so the Bible says that there was someone that came um, and the Bible says that this man that came by the name of Shimei uh, uh, and Samuel the 6th, 2nd Samuel the 16th chapter, uh, the Bible says that he was familiar uh -huh, he was familiar, somebody say familiar in other words, it wasn't somebody from the outside, huh? but it was somebody from the inside. Huh? Just look over at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to check your circle. Huh? You got to check your circle because everybody in your circle is not for you. Everybody that's in your circle huh? that's praising you now, huh? you better watch it because they're going to be throwing stones later. Huh? You've got to evaluate, evaluate the people huh? that are around you. Huh? And you've got to learn how to separate yourself. Uh, from those that mean you harm and uh, from those that don't mean you any good. Uh, the Bible says that Shimei came from out of the camp of David uh, and he came and he began to curse David openly. Not only uh, not only did he curse David openly with his mouth uh, uh, but he began to curse those that were still walking with David. David is in a place of agony. He's in a place of, um, dare I say it, he's in a place of mourning. He's in uh, he's in a weeping place. He's in a, a, a low place in his life. Um, and even to make matters worse, he has somebody from the inside um, that begins to down him while he's down uh, and tries to kick him even further down the road. Uh, but David did not allow this um, uh, to stop 
him from worshiping and from praising God. Uh, David even says, uh, David says that it may be that the Lord will look upon my affliction uh, and that the Lord will requite me good uh, for the cursing that I am experiencing on this day. I don't know who needs to hear this. I know that was a red flag this week too, but I don't know who needs to hear this. Uh, but I feel the need to tell somebody uh, that God is getting ready to look on you your affliction. Yes, I know you've been dealing with it for a little while now, uh, but God told me to tell you that he's getting ready to look on your affliction. Uh, I know you've been suffering for a long time now, uh, but God told me to tell you that he's getting ready to look on your affliction. Uh, I know you've been suffering in silence uh, for a long time now, uh, but God told me to come down to 79 Lawrence Street uh, and to prophesy to any Anybody that would receive it uh, and say that God is getting ready to look on your affliction. Uh, why? Because weeping may endure for the night, uh, uh, but joy is getting ready to come in the morning. Somebody say, I feel my joy. Uh, uh, somebody shout one time, he's looking uh, on my affliction. He's looking uh, on my affliction because we have to realize uh, that God, even in the midst of what it is that we're facing, uh, that he is still our provider somebody shout he is my provider uh, come on say it beyond the mask he is my provider uh, he is my provider that's why David said uh, that my soul waiteth upon God uh, from him coming my salvation uh, you have to put this in perspective now uh, David was a man after God's own heart uh, yet and still he find himself going through things and difficulties uh, situations and circumstances uh, that he doesn't think he should be going through uh, yet and still he understands uh, in who God is uh, and in Samuel he's able to say uh, that God is getting ready uh, to look on my affliction uh, in other words he understands uh, the gyra aspect uh, of who God is uh, it's not just who God is y'all uh, but it's the law of God uh, it's the law of gyra uh, that says that God is responsible uh, to provide for me uh, beyond what it is uh, that I'm able to see. Uh, so when you find yourself uh, in a place of lack, uh, it doesn't just have to be finances, uh, but when you find yourself uh, lacking happiness, uh, you can lift up your hands uh, and say, Chira uh, is getting ready to move uh, on my behalf. Uh, when you find yourself uh, in a low place, uh, and you need to be raised up. You don't have to ask God for healing because God knows what you need before you know you have need of it. All you gotta do is say, Chira is getting ready to move on my behalf. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, say, I've got a feeling that you're getting ready to move into a Chira season. Yes, Lord. That was the wrong name. Neighbor, touch another neighbor or look over at another neighbor and say neighbor say I've got a feeling deep down on the inside of my sanctified soul that you're getting ready to move into a season called Chira for all for all that I have needed his hand has already provided. Uh, so sit down, y'all. Uh, I need about 15 more minutes. Uh, and I promise I'll preach. Uh, so David said uh, that I'm waiting uh, on God. Uh, I'm not just waiting for him to come. Uh, but I'm waiting uh, for God to deliver. Uh, because I find myself uh, going through multiple things. Uh, at the same time, uh, is there anybody in here uh, that's ever felt like you're being hit with everything at 
the same time, as uh, soon as your finances, as uh, soon as they dry up, uh, then infirmity, uh, infirmity hits your body, uh, and it feels like uh, the enemy is throwing uh, everything he can at you. Uh, well, let me tell you, David said, uh, I'm not just waiting uh, on the Lord to come, uh, but I'm waiting uh, for God himself uh, to deliver me. Uh, for when we're waiting, uh, when we're waiting patiently, uh, we're not just waiting uh, on him to arrive, uh, but we're waiting uh, on him to move. Uh, I don't need God uh, just to show up, uh, but I need God uh, to show out uh, and do uh, what no other power uh, has been able uh, has been able to do uh, because there's some things uh, that I go through uh, that I'm able uh, to pull myself out of uh, but there are other things uh, that I have to totally uh, totally rely uh, and depend uh, upon the Lord uh, that's why David said uh, that if you hide in him uh, he'll be your saving place uh, if you hide in him uh, he'll be your resting place uh, if you hide in him uh, he'll be your place of the heart uh, He'll be your place of refuge. I heard, I heard, I heard the Bible say that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Will the righteous run in? And they, they are saved. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, they're saving when you wait on God and get out of your own self and move into the things, into the things of God. Not only must you wait patiently, but you've got to walk, you've got to walk prayerfully. David said that my soul wait patiently on him for my expectation is from him. In other words, David said that I've been through too much to doubt God, to doubt God now. Is there anybody in this place or watching online that can say that I've been through too much to doubt God now. He brought me through. He brought me out and he brought me up. That's why I can't walk complaining. I can't walk murmuring. But I've got to walk in the blessed assuredness that soon or later that the hand of God is getting ready to intervene on my behalf rather than walking in complaining I'm walking in prayer that's why the Bible says that man ought to always pray look at your neighbor and say neighbor when was the last time you prayed about it yeah when was the last time you worshiped about it when was the last time you lifted up your hands as a sign of surrendering not to your situation not to your circumstance but as a sign unto God that said God I'm taking my hand out of it and I'm resting in your care yeah because God often time he'll allow us to go through a God given storm for his purpose and for his glory while we understand that the enemy of our soul desires to sift us and sift us as a wheat the Bible said that as I did as I did for Peter I'm praying I'm praying I'm praying 
I'm praying for you uh, that your strength uh, fail you not uh, because sometimes uh, he's not going to pull you out uh, just because you're crying. Uh, he's not going to pull you out uh, just because you're weeping. Uh, he's going to allow you uh, to endure hardness uh, like a good soldier. Uh, that's when you can lift up uh, your hands uh, in the midst of feeling like uh, feeling like you're defeated. Uh, you can lift up your hands uh, in the midst of feeling like uh, all hell uh, is breaking loose around you. Uh, you can lift up uh, your head uh, in the midst of feeling uh, like you're being uh, tried uh, without a trial. Uh, you can lift up uh, your hands uh, even when you feel like uh, you're going through uh, hell uh, and high water. Uh, you can lift up up, uh, your head uh, like Job uh, and say though he slay me uh, yet uh, will I trust him uh, look over uh, at your neighbor uh, and say neighbor uh, I've got to trust uh, that even when uh, the enemy uh, has a plot uh, that God uh, has a plan uh, look over at another neighbor uh, and say neighbor uh, say I don't have have to worry about where I am right now because some of y'all can take a moment and just think of the, all the goodness and of Jesus and all and the all that he's done he's done for me my soul automatically finds a praise and shout hallelujah Thank God for saving me. It's not just a pride or a praise for salvation. But when I look back upon over my life and I begin to think things over, I can truly, I can truly, I can truly, truly say that I I got a testimony that said if I didn't wait I wouldn't have found strength if I didn't wait I wouldn't have found joy if I didn't wait I wouldn't have found peace if I didn't wait I wouldn't have had a breakthrough I would have broke down a long time ago but I God that he taught me how to wait, how to wait out the liar, how to wait, how to wait out the backstabber, how to wait, how to wait out the persecutor, how to wait, how to wait out the slanderer, how to wait, I hate, I I heard the Bible say that they, that wait, upon the Lord, he shall, shall renew their strength, they shall mount up on wings, wings as eagles, they shall run and not get weary, tell your neighbor, that's why I had to wait, I saw some go ahead, but it wasn't my time, I still had lessons that I had to learn. I still had tears that I had to cry. I still had to suffer like a good soldier. That's when I can get to my last point and worship passionately. Tell your neighbor if I didn't go what I went through. I wouldn't be able to worship God like I do. It took the persistent going through hell, going through trial, going through famine for me to understand who God is when I couldn't trace his hand. I had to trust uh, his heart uh, and to understand uh, though I don't like it, uh, though it don't feel
feel good, though I don't like it. He said in his word, no weapon that's formed against you shall, 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 oh, shall be able to prosper in every tongue that arises in judgment. Thou shalt condemn. Look over at our neighbor and say, neighbor, wait patiently. Touch somebody else. Say, walk prayerfully. Lift up your hands and worship passionately. Don't mind my worship. My worship tells the story that I've been there and I've done that and I got the t-shirt t-shirt to prove that if it had not been oh if it had not been for the grace and the mercy of God I would have been consumed a long time ago but thanks be unto God you almost caught me at a low point but thanks be unto God I almost cursed somebody out but thanks be unto God I almost lost my mind in the midst of that last trial thanks be unto God I almost let go but thanks be unto God I almost gave up thanks be unto God I almost gave in to the enemy's devices but thanks 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 be unto God that he always oh he always causes me to triumph because there is a purpose over your life take your hand put it over your head and say there is a purpose over my life I don't have to worry who comes I don't have to worry who goes but there is a purpose over my life and lift up uh, my hands uh, like Job uh, and say the Lord uh, giveth uh, and the Lord uh, taketh away uh, blessed oh blessed blessed uh, be the name uh, of the Lord uh, I wonder uh, have I got uh, anybody uh, in this house uh, that can say pastor uh, survived uh, what I went through. Uh, I dare you uh, take 30 seconds uh, lift your hands uh, open your mouth uh, and give it words. Come on. Come on. I've got to worship him. Because he allowed me to get past my trial. I've got to worship him. Because he allowed me to go past my circumstance. And now that I'm here, you don't think I'm a worshiper. The devil is a liar. But I, I, I'll become even more undignified than this. I'll lift up my hands when nobody's praising. I'll run when nobody's praising. I'll shout when nobody's praising. Because you weren't there when he lifted me up. You weren't there when he saved my soul. You weren't there when he made me whole. I need a worshiper that survived every struggle. That survived all the hell. Survived all the trauma. Lift up your hands. Open up your mouth and go to worship it right here. Come on. 
on, worshipers. This is your time to take the room. Yeah. Yes. Come on, take the room. Take the room. You've allowed your situation and your circumstance to have rule over you. But the devil is a bald-headed liar. I'm not allowing him to take my worship. I'm not allowing him to take my praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not allowing him to take me back to where I was. But I'm ready to go higher. Come on, worshipers. Come on, worshipers. You won't know what it is to be free until you've been in a place called bound. But I dare you to begin to walk in the liberty in your worship that Christ has made you free. Come on, worshipers. Take the room. Take the room. Take the room. Come on, somebody. This is Survivor Sunday. You survived every plot. You survived every plan. You survived every trick of the enemy. And you're still, you're still standing. You're still, you're still praising. You're still, you're still worshiping. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. My devil, ho, 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 ho. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not letting you go home bound. Come on, open up your mouth. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, my dear, shy up. Come on, you're not going home back. You're not coming in this house and going back to your home the same way you came in here. Come on, that's not on you. But God said this one is on him. He said, I'm here to supply you with what it is that you need. He said, I'm here to supply you with what it is that you need. I've got what you need. I've got what you need. Come on. Wait patiently, walk prayerfully, and worship passionately. It was the same David that in the midst of going through what it was that he was going through, found himself in such a praise to where everybody was looking saying, is that David? After putting on the priestly garment, he found himself in such a passionate praise that the garment that he had on began to come off. He says, I don't care who's looking at me. I don't care who says, well, he's the king. He shouldn't be worshiping like that. He, if he's going to do that, he needs to do that in the privacy of his home. The devil is a liar. Do you know what it took for me to get to this place? To think I'm going I'm to let my praise be predicated on your look? Just look at somebody and say, stay bound if you want to. But as for me, I'm about to be free. Oh, I said I'm about to be free. My praise isn't predicated on your look. My praise isn't predicated if you lift your hands. My praise isn't predicated if you open up your mouth. Because I'm standing in the need of something. And I can't wait for nobody else to open up their mouth when I need something from God. Stacy, I need something from God. You think I'm going to go to church, put on my best clothes, and, and be sitting there and look like I'm stuck? I'm not about to sit stuck because that's where some of y'all are right now. 
you're in a place called stuck, not realizing that your breakthrough is literally right there. But we stand, we stand and we stay in this place called stuck. But David said, I refuse. I hear you talking, but I refuse. I, I felt the rock when you threw it, but I refuse. I know what you said about me, but I, I refuse. And not only did he say I refuse, but he went, and watch this, this is what I love about the text in 2 Samuel. When he went, Crenshaw, there were few that said, if he's going, then I'm going. They didn't care what this other man had to say. David might have been old, but they didn't care. They knew that with David lied a special anointing to reach God. Why do you think David was anointed over Saul? Saul was still king. Saul was still in rulership. But while he was in rule, God saw fit to anoint who? David. And so these young men, understanding where David was in his life, they understood, well, we, if he's not paying attention to what they're saying, he's not, he's, watch this, McMillan, you can just let this bless you. He didn't even, they didn't even care what David was dealing with. Why? Because David put what he was dealing with to the back burner. Back burner. And said, regardless of what I'm facing right now, I've got to go up to the mountain to worship. He didn't say, watch this, let this bless you. He didn't say control. He didn't say, I'm going to stay down here and worship. He says, I got to go up. He said, he said I can't. This, this next miracle I need isn't, isn't, isn't found down here. So I got to leave this natural place. I got to leave this lower plane. I got I to gotta exit this level and I got to go higher. Because something happens when you ascend above your problem. Something happens when you ascend above your circumstances. Something happens when you ascend above what's hating on you. Something happens when you begin to ascend above the haters. Something happens when you leave your now behind and get into your tomorrow. Oof. I just need you to put your hand on yourself and say, I'm leaving my now. I know it hurts. I know you got some folks that you don't want to leave, but I need you to say, I'm leaving my now and I'm walking into my tomorrow. I'm worshiping in my tomorrow. I'm praising in my tomorrow. I'm giving in my tomorrow. Somebody just shout, I'm already in my tomorrow. Go. He slay me. Though he slay me. Though he slay me. Yet will I trust him. I've been through too much. Too much? To doubt the hand of God now. I know what they said. Some of it might be true. It don't, it don't matter to me. All I know is that I'm leaving this place and I'm going into a higher place. Zion! He's calling you to a higher place in here. I said he's calling you to a higher place in him. And this higher place, watch this, some things have to drop off automatically. I done told you, I done gave this. Lord, give me another illustration, but until then, I'll keep saying it. Anytime something has to enter into another atmosphere, there's certain things that have to drop off. The reason why many of us have been, been halted in our progress is because we're trying to hold on to everybody. And we're trying to hold on to everything. And we don't realize that it's the baggage that's holding us back. It's the baggage that's keeping us from entering into this new realm of glory. Somebody shout, I'm letting it go. Letting go. Come on, stand to your feet because hey. I want you to do this. We're going to give, we're going to do our
presentation to Overseer for her 62nd birthday. We're going to get out of here. Hallelujah. But I want you to take the next 60 seconds. I want every hand lifted and I want every mouth open because you don't know. We're not praying. I know we normally pray for everybody else. But today's praise and today's worship, we're going to be, amen, how do you say, selfish with this one. Put your hand on yourself and say, this one is for me. Good to see you, Teresa. This one is for me. Hallelujah. And I want you to take the next 60 seconds and I want you to give God, you say, Pastor, I don't know how to worship. You know how to say, thank you, Jesus. You know how to say, hallelujah. But I want you to get to that point where you feel that thing. Lady Sherry and I talked about the worship. Brother Davon, we talked about that worship that you get. And when you finish, your stomach start hurting. That's that, that's that real worship. I, I want you to begin. I don't want you to worry about. What up, Jojo? I don't want you to worry about who's next to you. Because I heard the Lord say, this one ain't for them. This one is for you. Somebody came in this house looking for a breakthrough. Somebody came in this house looking for a miracle with no red flags. They said, Pastor, I stand in the need of something from God. You, uh, you might have gotten it in the word. But this next miracle and this next breakthrough is coming in your worship. Come on, I want you to take 60 seconds. I want you to lift up your hands. And I want you to begin to open up your mouth. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, let's invite him into our situations. As a matter of fact, let's go to where he is. Let's begin to ascend into a high place. Come on. Let's begin to ascend into a high place. Come on. Come on, let's ascend into a high place. Come on, Zion, open up your mouth and worship him. Let's go up. Come on, let's go up. Come on, this is no place to have your mouths closed. But this is a place where your mouth needs to be open. And let's begin to touch heaven. Let's begin to touch the throne room of God. Come on, God, we stand in the need of something. But God, we first come to repent of whatever it is that will disqualify us from this next miracle, that will disqualify us from this breakthrough. God, we need you. God, we need you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, that's it. Come on, some of you are breaking into heaven right now. Yes. Come on, let's go in. Let's go up and let's go in. Come on, don't just stand at the door, but break that door open. Break that door open. Break that door open. Yes. Come on, that's it. Come on, go into the holies of holies. Go into the holies of holies. Let's touch heaven. Touch heaven with your worship. Touch heaven with your worship. Come on. We're worshiping in passion. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, let's worship him here. Let's worship him here. Let's worship him here. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, there's a new place. There's a new place. There's a new place. Put your hand on the back. Come on, come on. He said a new place. He said a new place. He said a new place. A new place. Yes. He said a new place. A new place. He said a new place. He said a new place. Come on, I'm worshiping out of the old man. And I'm worshiping in the new level of him. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Put your hand on her back and your other hand on her belly. My devil Hoshaya, worship in a new place. Worship in a new Hoshaya. Come on, worship out of your struggle. Worship out of your sensories. Worship him out of your emotion. 
but in his presence. Uh, yeah, God. Uh, yeah, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Come on. Stay right there. Stay right there. Uh, come on. She got to come up. She's got to come up. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm on my way. Uh, come on. Don't get distracted. Uh, don't get distracted. Uh, don't get distracted. Uh, don't get distracted. Come on, Pastor Stacey. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. My devil, Hoshaya. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, there's breakthrough in this. 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 Don't die here. Don't die here. I know it feels like it's heavy. Uh, I know you feel like you got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Uh, but I heard the Lord say uh, that there's glory coming out of this. Uh, there's glory coming out of this. Uh, there's glory coming out of Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on. Uh, there's glory. 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 Uh, Somebody lift up your head. Come on, lift up your head. Open up your mouth. Come on, there's a breakthrough in this place. There's a breakthrough in this place. There's a breakthrough in the higher. There's a breakthrough in this place. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Zion. 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 Come on, go further. Go further. Go further. Go further. Go further. Go further. Push me on. Push me on. Push. Push me on. Push me on. Push me on. Push me on. Yes. Yes. Come on. We wait on you. Hey, we wait on you. Come on, lift it up, church. We wait. Say we wait. Oh, say we wait. Say we wait. Yes, say we wait. So we wait. We can't move without you. We wait. We can't worship without you. We wait. 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 We One more for you. 
Come on, lift your hands, sweetheart. The Lord said you didn't come here for nothing. But he said there's a healing waiting for you. He said there's a healing getting ready to occur. He said from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, be thou made whole. Come on. Somebody open your mouth. I decree it. And I declare it. That your wait is over. Your wait is over. Your wait is over. Your wait is over. Until you come down, Lord. We'll wait on you. Until you come down, Lord. We'll wait on you. Until you come down, Lord. So we'll wait on you. Until you come down, Lord. Yes, Lord. I said we'll wait on you. Well, I'll release it. Release it. Release it. Down, Release it. We wait Release on you. it. Release it. You shall mount up on wings as an eagle. You shall walk and not get weary. You shall run and not faint. We'll wait on you. Yes, we'll wait on you until you come down, Lord. We'll wait on you. We'll wait on you until you come down. There's a release that happens when you choose to wait. It's not an easy decision. And the process is even harder. But when you choose to wait, God has a way of showing himself. Have I got a witness in this? I said when you choose to wait, God has a way of showing himself 
every time. Though the vision tarry, he said, though the vision tarry, he said to do what? Wait for it. For in the end it shall what? Surely come. And it shall speak. Somebody say, my vision is getting ready to speak. Oh, I said somebody shout, my vision is getting ready to speak. It's getting ready. Kaya. I said it's getting ready to speak. I'm on to your shot. Toya shout, it's getting ready to speak. You ain't gonna have to say nothing in this season. He said, but your vision is getting ready to speak for you. He said, it's getting ready to speak for you. He said, it's getting ready to speak for you. He said, it's getting ready to speak. Give me my water. I want you to run around one time. Because by the end of this week, he said, good news is hitting your house. One, one more time. She said, you better run. He said, you. Now this time, I want you to grab your wife. You was one lap ahead of me. Don't leave her. Y'all run together. Somebody say by the end of this week, you're gonna get the phone call that said all has been approved. The vision is about to speak. I said the vision is getting ready to speak. Fire. I need somebody to help them. If you ain't jealous about their next blessing, I dare you to help them. Because what God is getting ready to do for them, I heard he's getting ready to hit this house. We all walking into new homes. Oh! Minister Lauren, lift your hands. I heard the Lord say this to remind you. To remind you that he did not forget about you. But I heard the Lord say, he's causing you to come out. He said the word, all things work together for the good of them that love God and for those that are called. I saw it this morning and I saw your face. When I heard that scripture, I didn't know you was going to be in here today. 
But I heard the Lord say when he says, those that are called according to his purpose, it's really saying those who I'm calling to, those who I'm summoning, those who I'm calling out of this old place and this old uh, uh, thinking. He says, he says, I'm calling you out of this wilderness experience and to this promise that you didn't think you were getting ready to experience them. He says, you're not going to only see the promise. He said, you're not gonna have a Moses experience. He said, you're not gonna have a Moses experience. But he says, I call you Joshua. He says, get ready. I almost, y'all not saying. I said, I heard the Lord say, get ready. I'm almost shy because I'm calling you. Ho, 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 ho. I'm calling you out. Hey, somebody help a praise up. Oh, I'm out so. And I'm calling you up. Oh, somebody clap those hands. To take 30 seconds and put your feet. The body of help a praise. Don't let a praise voice. I'm calling you up and I'm calling you out. Hey! My devil, ho, ho, ho. But my wife is praying. Michelle, I hear it, I hear it. I hear it, Marissa, I hear it. 
to say about to say my name is victory I don't care what the feet is already around me I don't care what the doctor's note says I don't care what the prognosis is I don't care what the lawyer in the courtroom said I, I don't care what they said about me all I know is I'm walking in victory so tell me who can Stand before us when we call on that great name. His name is Jesus. I said his name. Tell somebody we have. We have it. Jojo, don't you forget it. I'm already in such a place. If you don't know me, you'll get to know me. I'm already in such a place, Marie, where what I'm experiencing doesn't phase me. Because the truth of the matter really is, it can't touch me. I said the truth of the matter is, it can't touch me. Because somebody shout, I'm shielded with his grace and I'm shielded with his goodness. Oh, I said I'm shielded with his grace and I'm shielded with his goodness. I said I'm shielded.
I see the grace of God. And I see his goodness. Yeah. Surely goodness and mercy. Somebody just wave their hand and say, surely goodness and mercy. Where is that? Y'all is following me. I got worry about what's behind me when I know I got his goodness and his mercy. He said, they're following me. He said, they're following me. of this week for some of us it needs to be the anthem for the rest of our days he says don't worry about who's behind you but he said worry about what I put behind you he says on the left you're gonna see my grace and on the right you're gonna see my mercy somebody say grace and mercy 
So I want you to raise this praise right here. Come on. Sing surely goodness. yourself that one hand go up you start swaying like that like your hips is wrapped around by somebody come on look at me like I'm crazy you know I used to wish I was Jamaican that's why we used to sing what's that song we just let it rise and we used to go to that Jamaican
say, somebody say, it's following me. I'm happy to see you, but it's following me. Ah, yeah. It's following me. It's following me. It's following me. Yeah. It's following me. It's following me. Come on, I want you to grab your offering. Grab your tithe, your offering, your love gifts. Those that are, y'all better, y'all better do it, whoever. <laughs> I hear it. Somebody say, it's following me. Following me. Better sing it, Brother Mac. He had a nerve to do the same note I did in everything. I thought he was going to be like, it's following me. He got up there. Come on, one more time. Somebody say, it's following me. Hey. All right, so y'all not going to be mimicking everything I do. Or I'm going to make y'all be a whole choir up in here. Come on, I want you to get a seat in your hand. Get a seat in your hand. Get a seat in your hand. Whatever it is, I know this is our fifth year. And so every seed I told you to sow. I know you're sowing your tithe and your offering. Amen. But we believe in seed sowing. So whatever seed you're sowing, I want you to put a five on it. You say, Pastor, I'm sowing $50. I want you to sow $55. You're sowing $20. I want you to sow $25. You're sowing $30. I want you to sow $35. Five is the number of grace. And God told us in this season that we're graced for this. Somebody say, I'm graced for this. I'm graced for this. So whatever it is that you're... Whatever it is that you're sowing, I want you to put five on it. Somebody say, put five on it. Those of you that are watching us, you need to sow. Nothing worse than going to a restaurant eating and then not paying for the meal you had. Amen. If you're here, you're watching us online, you need to sow a seed. Tell somebody, sow your seed. If you're going to sow, those of you watching us online, the information should be at the bottom of your screen. I want you to sow. You're going to, you can cash out, dollar sign, the empowerment, empowerment rather, empowerment CC. You can text to give 73256 is the number. You're going to put the word empowerment in the text information and you're going to sow your seed. Those of you that are here, we have those two abilities for you to sow. You can swipe whatever it is you want to swipe. You can, amen, do the cash app as well. You can text it as well from your phone. You can sow cash, check whatever it is. Amen, but tell somebody I'm putting five on it. I'm putting five on it. So glad to see so many of you out today. Next Sunday is our Youth and Young Adult Empowerment Sunday. Amen, the young people will be going forth. Amen, it is also your favorite sports team Sunday. Amen. So I, again, I, I've been telling y'all all, all month, I expect to see everybody in New York Giants. What is, y'all so disobedient. <laughs> God, it's such a disobedient church. The least you can do is the Knicks. Why, why did it get louder when, you, when I said the Knicks? What is, what is, thank you, thank you, sir. Amen. Or the Yankees, one, one or three. You got three of your choices, all right? Amen. If I see you, amen, I'm instructing the, the greeters at the door now. If you come in with something other than Yankee blue, giant blue, or uh, no, New York blue, amen, you won't be allowed into service next Sunday. How about that? You watch online. <laughs> also said, try me. <laughs> Amen. Me and Austin, we Yankee fans, though. We Yankee fans. Amen. We are Yankee fans. Amen. They hurt our feelings this year, but we still believe God. <laughs> Come on. I want you to grab that seed in your hand, whatever it is that you're sowing. Put it in your right hand. Right hand signifies what, y'all? Power, strength, and I love it. Power, strength, and authority. You say, Pastor, well, I sold for my phone. Put your phone in your right hand. Come on. Stand to your feet. We're going to make this declaration. You're going to come out. You're going to give. Amen. And we're going to do our presentation to our overseer. Amen. 
and we're going to dismiss. Amen. Put your seat in your right hand. Right hand signifies power, strength, and authority. Lift it up to God. Amen. And help us make this confession. I'm giving my tithe, my offering, and my seed. This is my first, and this is my best. As we give these offerings, we believe that we receive jobs, raises, and bonuses, benefits, sales, and commissions, settlements, estates, and inheritance interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, lost money found, gifts and surprises, royalties received, bills paid off, debts demolished, all my needs are met. We receive the grace to walk in overflow and fulfillment. We expect more out of heaven than ever before. I receive my harvest now by faith in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. You are now in the hands of the ushers. Oh, my brother. So good to see Sister Marissa and Brother Kevin with us this afternoon. We love y'all. Good to see Andre, good to see y'all. survived or succumbed, amen, to breast cancer, amen. And so we want to, as a body, amen, offer corporate prayer, amen. If there's number one, if there's someone here, amen, that is suffering with this disease, amen, or you have overcome this disease, amen, you don't have to come up. You can just raise your hand, amen, and say, Pastor, I've dealt with it. I'm going through it, amen, and I am going to overcome it, amen, amen. Evangelist McMillan, amen. Amen. We have something special. Amen. Give her the whole thing. Amen. Minister Devana, Elder Devana. Amen. Amen. I know. Amen. I said I'm not going to have nobody come, but this young lady has been very special. Amen. To us. She's coming. She's been a part of our family. She's loaned us her daughter for this season. Amen. She trusts us enough. Amen. Sister McMillan. Amen. If you will come. Amen. Very quickly. I got something just for you. Amen. So on behalf of myself and our overseer, amen, and the entire Empowerment Christian Church, amen, Evangelist Miller, we love you. 
We're praying for you. Amen. Isn't she sharp? Amen. And every time she comes, amen, she blesses and encourages my spirit because to know what she's dealing with, amen, you, as a matter of fact, you wouldn't know what she's dealing with based off of her praise. I'll say that again. You wouldn't know what this young lady is dealing with based off of her praise. She has a praise that defies the diagnosis. She said, I'm not scared of the diagnosis. You just gave me something to praise over. As long as it has a name, it's got to bow, y'all. I said, as long as it has a name, it's got to bow, y'all. I said, as long as it has a name, it's got and cancer has to bow. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yoshaya, it's got to bow. So we believe. Oh, Mandi Yoshaya. That it won't be many days before she's running in here to testify that God did it again. Somebody just shout, God did it again. We love you, woman of God. There's not a day that goes by where we're not offering prayer. Because we know sooner or later, tell somebody it won't always be like this. But he's getting ready to perfect that concerning you. Sooner or later, things are getting ready to turn in your favor. And it's getting ready to turn around. So we offer prayer. We offer support. Whatever it is we can do for you, woman of God. Keep being that example. Keep shining like you shining. And watch God work a miracle on your behalf. I need somebody to shout, she is a miracle. Oh! a sign that what you're dealing with won't last long as you set them up and you begin to watch the flower petals fade away just know that his word is gonna last forever the grass withereth and the flower faded but his word is gonna stand forever Come on, I just need you to point your hands one more time to her direction and say she is a miracle. Clap your hands and give God real good praise. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Not only is this Survivor Sunday, but it is our very own overseer's 68th birthday. Let's give it up for God keeping her this long. And we pray that God keeps her even longer. May he add to your life. May he add 
years to your life. Not just, I'm not just saying that just because you're my mother, but still. <laughs> but may he add years, and we are here for many, many, many more years to celebrate you, woman of God. Amen. So we have a little something for you that uh, just shows our appreciation of how much we appreciate you for what you do for the ministry, for what you do for our pastor. Of course, not just because he's your son, but because you love and honor him. Amen. So we have these bouquets of roses for you from your entire, <laughs> from the entire ACC family. Uh, this one right here is from Pastor First Lady and uh, the, the uh, First Lady Ice. Amen. And this card right here is a little something to symbolize how much we love and we appreciate you. Now, in the card, it gives you, um, let me tell it? I'll tell it, it don't matter. <laughs> it gives you an all expense paid trip home to 573, <laughs> to your house. But also to that all expense paid trip is, if you wanna take a staycation, we got you. You want to go home, home. We got you. Amen. Come on, everybody. Let's go on and give it up for Overseer. Happy 68th birthday. see you one more time. Amen. Praise God for all of our visitors that are with us. Amen. All of our family that's with us once more and again. Remember, next Sunday is Jersey Sunday. Amen. And the following Sunday is Grace. Amen. Sunday is our fifth Sunday fellowship. Amen. We're excited about what God is doing. Leaders, ministers, ministers leaders. Amen. Please don't forget this Wednesday we have a very important leadership meeting at 6.30 p.m. right here in the sanctuary. Please be on time. Amen. As I will be starting at exactly 6.30. Amen. Amen. If you get miss something, you miss all of it. Amen. 6.30, amen, p.m. Please be here. Amen. If you're here, amen, I'll feed you dinner. Amen. Just for our ministers. Amen. So don't try to show up, Marie, because I'm not feeding you. I'll give something to him, all right? But amen. So to our, <laughs> to our leaders, amen, I need you here at 6.30 p.m. It's very important. Amen. 6.30, what time did I say? 6.30, please be here at 6.30. Those that are watching us online, be in the house. Amen. I will not be live. Amen. This is pertinent information that you receive first. Amen. From me. Amen. Amen. We also want to remind you. Amen. Grace Sunday is the fifth Sunday. Amen. Your shirt order is due today. Your shirt order is due today. Your money is due today. Amen. So that we can have everything for you. Amen. Prayerfully by next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Thank you to all those who have placed your order already. Amen. But I need you. Amen. The cost of the shirts for youth are 15 For adults, amen, sizes are $20. Amen. Amen. For youth shirts are 15 Adult shirts are 20 Amen. Please, amen, make sure you, if you're cash shopping or you're texting it, amen, you put in the notation that this is for your, your T-shirt. Grace for this shirt, whatever you want to, and the size, and the size, so we don't have to assume. Amen. Amen. Come on, stand to your feet. We're getting ready to leave. Again, it's, it's such an honor to see you all this Sunday. Amen. It's such an honor to see you all this Sunday. Such an honor to see you all this Sunday. We thank God for you all. Amen. And we thank God for you all being a part of, amen, our pink Sunday. You all look wonderful. Say, come on, be cocky. Say, I know I do. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. You all look wonderful. Amen. Do me a, a favor. Take some pictures. Amen. If you're going to uh, post them yourselves, 
make sure you tag, amen, the Empowerment Christian Church. Amen. If not, you can send them, amen, send them to myself, send them to Lady Sherry, send them to Journey, amen, so that we can make sure that they all get posted under the church's page. Amen. Amen. But don't leave this place without taking a picture of yourself, amen, or having your picture taken, uh, taken. amen. Amen. Lift your hands as we leave this place, but never the presence of the Lord. God, we thank you for what you have done in this place. Father, we decree and we declare that we've been there, we've done that, and we'll never be the same ever again. Father, as we get ready to leave this place, but never your presence, we ask you to go with us as we go with you. Love us, we will be loved. Keep us, we will be kept. Deliver us, and we shall be delivered. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, both now and forever. And the people of God said, amen, amen, amen. You are dismissed. Go in peace. God bless you.